Joining me now from Dallas, Texas, former federal prosecutor and attorney for Michael Flynn, Sidney Powell. Sidney, on June 12th, you are going to court, uh, and I presume you're going to be there for some oral arguments before a three-judge panel. Um, without going into the grave details, this effectively is kind of try and adjudicate what a lower judge, uh, Emmett Sullivan, had been doing in his court. Is it a ch there a chance that this entire saga could come to an end before this three-judge panel, or does it go back to Emmett Sullivan? I believe the three-judge panel will give some very specific instructions to end it, either that or end it themselves, because the law is very clear that Judge Sullivan has tried to do something he cannot do. The government has moved to dismiss the charges against General Flynn because they found the actual evidence that they've hidden for three years that further shows he was innocent. And there's even more that we still don't have. They're still looking for and doing a complete investigation of it now. But yes, I think the Court of Appeals will bring it to an end soon. And Judge Emmett Sullivan appointed a former judge um, in this case to try and figure whether he has the legal authority to do so or not, or the constitutional authority to do so or not. He has appointed effectively a special counsel to investigate the Flynn matter, and whether the charges should be dismissed, and among other things, whether Flynn should face contempt of court charges. Is that it in a nutshell? Yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Yes, he wants to investigate whether he should be held guilty of contempt of court and, and essentially perjury because he had entered a guilty plea, never mind that he was coerced and didn't know the truth at the time, and they threatened to indict his son if he didn't plead right then and didn't disclose the struck page text messages or any of the other things that show that it was all made up against him, that the 302 had been altered, the FBI reported the interview, they'd actually put in statements that he did not say, and they did not put in statements that he did say. It's absolutely stunning, Graham. You wouldn't think that this could happen in the United States of America, but the FBI upper echelon and DOJ upper echelon framed, completely framed, and persecuted and prosecuted an innocent man for three years. And I know you have to be careful because you are still before uh, Judge Sullivan, uh, but I'm going to tread uh, lightly in an area here. They're trying to make it seem as though it's unusual for someone to change their plea, because that's effectively what uh, Michael Flynn is doing here, right? He pled guilty, and, and, and now effectively that's going to go away, and he's changing his story, if you will. But this happens all the time uh, in court. It's not as if we don't have a history in this country of people often pleading guilty, in many cases, to crimes they didn't commit, and certainly to lesser crimes that they may or may not have committed. And to crimes that weren't committed at all. In fact, I can point you to two guilty pleas from the Enron Task Force led by our, uh, Andrew Weissman that had to be withdrawn because he bludgeoned them into pleading guilty to things that weren't cr crimes. The Arthur Anderson partner, David Duncan, was, had withdrew his plea and it was vacated. And so did Christopher Calger. And then we attach to our, our motion itself other guilty pleas that the government's dismissed cases against people even a couple of years after they had entered their plea. It happens all the time. And today I just learned that the National Database of Exonerations contains 20% of the people on it had pled guilty and been completely exonerated. There you go. It's our system. Like yeah. it or not, it's, it's the way our system operates. Yes or no? Uh, do you think there's going to be a happy ending to this and relatively soon? Yes, I do. I really do. I can sense you feel confident about this, and that's good news for Michael Flynn, who has been through hell, and his family has been through hell for several years now. and needs to come to an end, and hopefully you're going to do it. Good job, Sydney, and thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube, and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.